the custom MZ60 build is finally done and ready to be shown to you guys. Thank you for all the love on these custom keyboard builds. I got another one coming soon and a big project I have in mind that's also coming up. So I'm really excited for that. It's going to take a minute to record and actually edit and put together. But it's going to be an awesome thing and I want everybody to participate when I can. It'll probably be, it'll come out at a thousand subs most likely. But this is the custom MZ60 build. If you haven't seen the review of the MZ60, go check that video out so you can kind of see the specs and stuff and see if you ever want this keyboard. But if you're just here for the design and stuff, I went for a Japanese style, the key capture Japanese style. The keyboard base is custom. I did that myself. I drew Japanese characters, which you'll actually see me do in just a second. Uh, but the original MZ60 had Gatoron blues and just normal white keycaps. So I wanted to spice that up a little bit. I don't like to keep my keyboards and stuff like that the same. I like to make them a little different. So that's what I did here. So I'm about to cut to the actual footage of me. Yep, here it is. Me actually drawing the letters. I had to use a ruler to get one of the things. I couldn't get the line correct. Uh, but this is me actually drawing it. It was like 10 o'clock in the morning of the day and watching some Tim the Tatman play some Warzone. Uh, but I love Japanese culture. I love the Japanese style. I love their looks. As you can see, my hoodie's literally a Japanese hoodie. I love Japanese stuff. So I was like, I'm just gonna make a keyboard based around Japanese style. Now, I'm actually about to show you guys a zoomed in look of what the letters and characters look like. They kind of, it just says like power and stuff like that in Japanese, some inspirational words. Now, I'm about to start writing, here it is, yeah. I actually started writing over it with Sharpie. Now, if you don't know about Sharpie and plastic, the harder you write, the more easily it's gonna be to smear. I had to be lighter on some parts, but here I'm actually gonna explain what happened and what I needed to fix, so enjoy. So this is basically done. It just needs to be uh, magic erasered on certain parts. I don't think you can see it well. Let's bring it under the light some more. Some, there's some incidents that happened while working on it. I can't get it to focus, but there you can kind of see some smearing and stuff magic eraser will get rid of that but may the rest of it's pretty much done all we gotta do is put the key uh the pcb back in and we are done uh and i'm gonna put a sticker here but other than that we're done and then i'm gonna play some competitive valorant because i hate my life two days later okay so i'm not happy right now for multiple reasons one of them we aren't talking about but the other one i can talk about um, so the keyboard is basically done. Um, after the last clip that I took of me disassembling this thing, um, I put the screws in a bag, and I don't know where I put that bag. Also, I want to show you guys this. Look! It's snowing, can you see the snow? Yeah, but it actually is aggravating because I wanna be done with this thing because I wanna use it. I was not happy, not happy at all, but I actually got some more screws uh, that I found online that go for the MZ60 and any other 60% keyboard. I found these screws and uh, my dad actually brought them from his work to me because he had some at work. Here's me actually dropping the KO Box Jades. Now, I'm very sad. I'm very, very, very sad for many reasons. Number one, uh, I should have been more prepared for this because looking back this would have this video would have been done weeks ago if I didn't have all these issues and one of the issues I was having was one of the switches was not working so here you can see me putting it together I don't know by this point that one of the switches isn't working I should have done this with the PCB out of the key keyboard but I was like you know what I'm confident they were all working before let's do it let's put it together plug it in and let's see if everything works. Now you're about to see me uh, plug it in right here, bow. Uh, I was trying to time it, but I suck. Uh, but that that's actually how it looks without the keycaps and I'm just testing every switch. And I think you're about to see me zoom in. No, no, I'm not gonna zoom in. I'm actually gonna just show you me trying to pull out the switch because the Q key wasn't working. I tapped it, I took the switch out, tried to see if it was a bent pin, nothing. I actually had to take the whole, <laughs> I had to unscrew everything. I'd like to clarify, I had to unscrew everything, take it out, take all the, the switches out again, because I had to uh, take off the plate and do do some investigating, figure out what what's going on, why am I having issues? And it turns out that one of the connectors for the Q, uh, the Q key actually just wasn't connected. Like it was hanging upwards. I wish I had a picture of it, but I had to actually take off the plate bring my dad's solder 
in there so we could solder a wire to it which i'm actually going to show you iphone footage of me getting like a close-up of it we had to solder a wire to connect the q connector together here's actual footage of us trying the q key and it's not working um we had to actually use like little pins to make the connectors work here's the wire which actually connects the two connectors for q together so now anytime i click q it'll actually work instead of spamming q and stuff like that but it's finally done we can put the pcb back in the case we can actually start screwing it in put the keyboard together and do all the mods we want to it now another thing i should have done is the band-aid mod outside of the pcb because again it's so much easier to do it this way but i'm so stupid and i just wanted to get this done i screwed it in and didn't think about the mods till after i had to take everything apart so uh for the next like minute or so uh is just some music and the me putting it together and then it'll be a sound test so yeah thank you guys so much for watching uh if you want to skip to the sound test here's the time and yeah thank you guys so much for watching uh and i hope you enjoy your day i have another build coming soon and i also have a big project coming so enjoy the music hope you enjoy the sound test and yeah, I hope you enjoy this little this little cinematic. So that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do enjoy these custom keyboard builds, I have another one coming soon and a big project ahead. So if you're excited to see that, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. We're almost at 1K. So when that 1K hits, I'm going to be dropping my project that I'll be working on after this video is uploaded. So yeah, here's the thanks for watching thing. Wow. Here's another video. Here's the subscribe button. Click it. <laughs> I'm so stupid.